Hi, I'm Emily Keller, and this is the mesh point tail stitch. The structure of this stitch is jersey, and the holes are formed by transferring a loop in the fabric from one needle to a neighboring needle. Holes can be different shapes and sizes, and they can be put into a sequence to create a custom pattern or design. The point tail stitch is great for lightweight garments for spring and summer because it offers breathability and ventilation. It's also great as the top fabric on a layered garment where the under layer can be seen through the holes. On to the rating system. Knitting time is a five. Now, the loops are transferred from one needle to another and when these transfers are happening, the knitting carriage is sitting and waiting. The machine cannot knit and transfer at the same time. So the more transferring you have, the longer your knitting time is going to be. Also, the knitting speed can be changed. And for the point tail stitch, it tends to need a slower knitting speed. There are two reasons for this. One reason is because when the loop is being transferred over, this puts strain on the yarn on the opposite side of the loop over here because the loop is pulling the yarn over here and this yarn gets tight. The second reason is because when this is transferred over, if it's transferred too quickly, sometimes the loop does not completely catch on the needle. Instead, it, it falls off and it creates a run down your fabric. So the slower knitting speed just sort of ensures that it's going to completely catch on the new needle. When the knitting tension is too tight and the knitting speed is too fast, this tends to cause the yarn to break in that location. Programming time is a five. If you have a really simple repeat, then the programming time will be quick. If you have a custom design, then this will take a little bit longer. Price is a four. This is gonna vary depending on your knitting time and your programming time. Strength is a five. This is similar to jersey, but it's more prone to catching and snagging. Drape is a nine. Because this fabric is pretty thin, it has good movement. Comfort is a nine. This is a comfortable st stitch, similar to jersey, but it does lack some stretch because of that strain on the yarn at those transfer points. Texture is a four. On the front side of the fabric, the texture comes from the holes themselves and you either have skin or maybe you have uh, another layer under, under your mesh layer. On the reverse side, you have a little bit more texture. Not only do you have the holes, but you also have the texture from the reverse jersey fabric. Weight is a one. This is a lightweight fabric. Torquing is an eight. I do not recommend high twist yarns or single ply yarns with this stitch. Your chances of torquing are pretty high, so be careful with that. Balance is a three. This stitch is not very balanced. It, if you do not finish the edges, they will all curl up on themselves and it's hard to get the fabric to completely lay flat. Stretch is a five. Stretch is okay, but again, you, you do lose some stretch because of those transfers and the strain on the yarn. I hope you enjoyed this video about the mesh point tail stitch. Thanks for watching.